Hello, I'm Chloe Singer Johnston from Minds and Money, and today we are joined by Gregory Beischer. Gregory is the CEO, President, and Director of Alaska Energy Metals. Thank you so much for being with us today, Gregory. Well, my pleasure, Chloe. Thanks for the invitation. No problem. Firstly, could you give us a brief overview and let us know some key highlights of Alaska Energy Metals? Sure thing. Well, the main thing is our nickel uh, nickel project uh, in central Alaska, uh, right alongside the the Richardson Highway. And uh, uh, I can't say that there's a nickel deposit there yet, but I'm going to be able to say that very soon. And I can maybe uh, prognosticate that it's going to be uh, a very, very large deposit of nickel one day. Um, And it's interesting because I first drilled into this uh, mineralization uh, in 1997 in my first career with Inco. Uh, Of course, at the time, the biggest nickel miner in the world. Uh, So we discovered the nickel mineralization there, but uh, the concentration was too low to be of economic interest at the time. But things are different for nickel now. And so I've reacquired the mineral rights for Alaska Energy Metals, and we're now drilling to prove that it is actually a a very large deposit of nickel. And by the way, uh, accessory metals to go with it include copper, uh, cobalt, uh, iron, chrome, uh, and platinum, palladium, and even a little bit of gold. So it's quite an interesting deposit. Right. Uh, you mentioned briefly um, that you purchased an exclusive database of historical information concerning the Nikolai project. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, sure, because uh, it's a, a, a purchase that's going to pay huge dividends for us and our shareholders uh, uh, right away. So, uh, as mentioned, uh, I uh, spent five years working on this project in the late 90s for Inco. Uh, Subsequently, um, another company called Pure Nickel took over operations and did 12 more years uh, of exploration. And everyone did really good work. Uh, And uh, Pure Nickel had preserved all the historic uh, information, assays, drill logs, geophysical surveys, uh, and uh, for sale, so we purchased it. Um, but it'll pay immediate benefits because some of the drill holes uh, are spaced closely enough that we'll be able to immediately calculate uh, an inferred resource in two different spots on the property. And uh, it'll become immediately obvious that uh, the Uh, rock in between uh, will join up. The mineralization in two different resources that are a couple of kilometers apart will will join together. And so that uh, should increase our share price remarkably uh, when we publish this initial resource. Uh, We postulate that uh, the resource that we publish soon uh, will contain on the order of a billion pounds of, of nickel in the ground. So um, it should be uh, a a remarkable advancement for our company, one that we didn't think we'd achieve until next spring, but uh, we'll probably be able to do it before that. Sounds great. And uh, you personally have over 30 years of experience with expertise in magmatic nickel deposit exploration. What excites you about this particular project? Um, Well, uh, Originally, uh, the INCO global targeting team had identified this part of Alaska as having geologic similarities to the Norilsk area of Russia, which hosts the largest accumulation of uh, rich, massive sulfide nickel deposits on Earth, even uh, bigger than uh, Sudbury, uh, Ontario, where INCO uh, was, was born. Um, and so that's why I went up there. Uh, we uh, and I still live in in Alaska, um, but uh, we didn't find the mass of sulfide. But that exploration potential still exists. Uh, we're going to build value in this company by delineating a very large 
uh, bulk tonnage, uh, lower concentration deposit, but uh, we're still going to be on the hunt to find that rich, massive sulfide too. And that's always exciting. Definitely. And what shift are you noticing to transition to an electric energy dominated society? Well, sure. And that's the main reason that I've gone ahead to, to acquire this project and, and to raise the money to explore it. Um, main use of nickel has always been a stainless steel manufacturer, and that uh, use of nickel continues to grow every year as our global population grows, but also the aerospace industry uses uh, uh, nickel as well. But now, uh, the average uh, electric vehicle or EV battery uh, contains uh, around 29 kilograms of nickel. Uh, and so the demand for nickel is very rapidly uh, increasing and is projected to uh, increase more and more as EVs are adopted. So uh, I see potential for significant uh, price increase in, in nickel uh, uh, driven by demand. And I also know that nickel deposits, rich ones, uh, like those at Norilsk or Sudbury or Voises Bay or Thompson, Manitoba, these, these are very rare discoveries. Uh, you know, it takes decades of uh, uh, exploration by the entire uh, exploration industry to make these discoveries. They're very rare. And so to meet demand, I'm positive that the mining industry is going to be forced to uh, mine uh, lower grade deposits that uh, are more common. And that's exactly what uh, we're proposing to do here. Very interesting. And then could you tell us a little bit about your management team? Sure. Well, I head up the company. Uh, it is, I think, a good thing that I've got some uh, experience in magmatic uh, nickel sulfide exploration because uh, it's not that common. You know, a lot of uh, geologists uh, never see uh, the, uh, the mafic, ultramafic rocks uh, which host uh, nickel deposits. It's a small subsector of the metal exploration business. Uh, and it's a little different, um, but um, uh, the rest of our team, uh, uh, Kyle Negri, our uh, VP of Exploration, and Gabe Graff, our chief geoscientists, are rapidly learning a, a lot about nickel, and uh, they're smart geologists, so they're quick on, on the uptake. But um, as a team, uh, including the administrative uh, team, uh, we're, we've been together for almost 15 years now, uh, previously with a company called Millrock Resources. And so we know how to execute uh, responsible, efficient uh, exploration programs anywhere in Alaska and, and other places. Uh, but um, uh, that, that we've got a great team uh, and we really take care of business. Sounds great. So lastly, what do you think makes your company different to others as an interesting investment opportunity for those listening? Well, uh, there's just not that many companies looking for nickel, uh, but clearly the demand is going to be there. The United States Department of Energy projects that nickel will be the most uh, critical metal in terms of uh, supply risk. Uh, and uh, use in energy uh, transition. So uh, we think we're in a very good spot uh, timing-wise to be developing a large, secure domestic source for the United States uh, energy transition. And there's just not very many companies doing that. Uh, and the ones we see that are developing similar projects are having great success in the market. Uh, and uh, getting strategic investments from major mining companies, from refiners. And, uh, and now uh, I think we're starting to see battery manufacturers and car manufacturers scrambling to secure supply uh, and uh, starting to talk to early stage developers like, like us. So they've recognized that nickel is going to be the choke point uh, and uh, potential disruption to a smooth uh, electric vehicle transition. 
Well, thank you so much for your time today, Gregory. It's been great to hear all of your news and all of your thoughts for the future. Um, for those that would like to find out more, please head to alaskaenergymetals.com. This interview was brought to you by Minds and Money in association with GredCloud. Thank you again, Gregory. Thank you, Chloe. All the best. And to you. Resourcing tomorrow, accelerating the energy transition. 100 plus countries are presented. And together with government representatives, mining and energy professionals, ESG experts, financial and professional services, industry associations, investors and consultants, Resourcing Tomorrow will address critical mineral supply, the energy transition, environmental resilience, the circular economy, ESG, our future workforce, AI automation and machine learning, digitalization, mineral processing and plant optimization, exploration and development projects. Have your say in the future of our industry. Join us for Resourcing Tomorrow from 28 to 30 November 2023. Register today.